saying. I mean, it's talking about, in the, even in Genesis 3.22, it's talking about, I mean, and I'm not trying to be a Bible uh, roller, a holy roller, or anything like that. I'm just trying to be a logical, rational person, man. You know, it's just common sense, okay? You know, they're, they're saying, you eat this and your eyes will be open. You know? I mean, it, it's, they, that's all they're saying. That's what they're saying. You know, so obviously it was like, and, and people want to say, oh, this told them this and all that. Why, why do you got to emphasize like that? I mean, why do you got to make it sound so redundant? Just basically, if you're not supposed to eat something and it could be poisonous, then you probably shouldn't eat it. But there's a potential, hey, it might be good, you know, because when it comes to psychoplastogens, we know that uh, when we're eating mushrooms and all this stuff, if... You know, this stuff, it can be deadly. You can eat the wrong thing and you're going to die. Okay? So, this, it's not like there's, oh, you can't eat it or you're going to, he or going to hell if you do and all this. It's, you know, hey, you probably shouldn't eat this, but if you do, your eyes are going to be open. You're going to notice things that you probably sh you're going to trip the fuck out. I mean, it's straight up. You're just going to trip out. And that's more or less exactly what is being told here. Okay? And I, like I said, I'm on, I'm, in every, I'm on everybody's side here. You know, I just don't see why everybody's got to complicate something so simple. Look, it, even the term come, the Greek, and like I said, everything's about Greek here. Mind molded, okay? Producing is Genesis, obviously, or Gen, but this is psychoplastogen, okay? The mind molding. These drugs cause nerve cells in the brain to form new neurites i.e. projections that extend out from the cell, pretty much you create more neural pathways, more or less. All right, the body have the potential to become axons and dendrites. That's new connectors, okay? Because you have a, a, a nucleus, which is, well, that's your energy, your cellular energy. And then everything mitochondrial or electrical is your dendrites, your axons, and stuff like that. It's like a mini biological universe, literally. It literally really is. It really is. It allows nerves to, and nerve cells, but let's see. In addition, these agents enhance the ability of nerve cells to interact with other nerve cells by increasing the number of synapses, the regions where the nerve cells connect with one another. Exactly. They are, it's almost like a, how a lizard reforms his tail, but instead, in your brain, you're forming new little bitty tails to new other areas of the brain. Literally, you, you're, the universe inside your head is growing. That, that's no joke. I mean, it's no joke. You can, you can help it grow by adding information into it, which is like a form of energy, but you still want the matter to be able to hold the energy. And that's how you ingest something that is physical to create a physical response and growth in your brain in a positive way. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, it's the laws of thermodynamics, okay? You get in, what you, you get out, what you put in, you, you, there's only, you only have in what you can get out of it. It's, it, it's energy transforming one way or the other. I mean, here's a good little, little picture here, for example, of the universe. And here's synapse in your brain. Psychedelic drug may help brain repair itself. Oh, it may. Oh, we we're fine. Oh, dude, it's no joke. Yes, it does. In fact, if you want your brain to grow substantially, and you can increase literally what you can hold in your head and have the space to cover it. I'm saying you can literally upgrade the format, the surface of your hard drive. You can say, instead of 2.5 terabytes, what you eat... And it regrows, then that could say add, you know, another half a terabyte or technically petabytes. So you got 2.5 petabytes in your brain. So say now you've ate so much of that that's converted into brain material that now you can support three terab or petabytes. Okay. And then of course, uh, you know, a thousand petabytes would be an exabyte. And then let's see. Yeah, and then Zeta bytes and Yada bytes. Yeah, okay. So literally, the more you eat, physically eat, that can actually convert into physical brain material, 
is actually increasing the surface of your hard drive, more or less. It's analogous to creating uh, putting a bigger hard drive in your computer. And then the data you can add to it, which you could memorize more, you could remember more at one time or something, you know, it'll increase your perception a lot better. You'll take in more than you were. I mean, you'll notice, you'll, be, you'll perceive a lot more. I'm just saying. 